Love itself is the most elitist of passions. It acquires its stereoscopic substance and perspective only in the context of culture, for it takes up more place in the mind than it does in bed. Outside of that setting it falls flat into one-dimensional fiction. If there is any substitute for love, it is memory. On the whole, love comes with the speed of light, separation, with that of sound. By all means marry, if you get a good wife, you will become happy, if you get a bad one, you will become a philosopher. Marriage is not just spiritual communion, it is also remembering to take out the trash. The great marriage or partnership. It can't be a great marriage without being a partnership. There is no such cozy combination as man and wife. A successful marriage requires falling in love many times, always with the same person. True love stands by each other's side on good days and stands closer on bad days. Love is not weakness. It is strong. Only the sacrament of marriage can contain it. Don't ever stop dating your wife and don't ever stop flirting with your husband. To love is nothing. To be loved is something. But to be loved by the person you love is everything. It's amazing how one day someone walks into your life, and you cannot remember how you ever lived without them. I think long-lasting, healthy relationships are more important than the idea of marriage. At the root of every successful marriage is a strong partnership. Happiness is a direction, not a place. The greatest happiness of life is the conviction that we are loved, ate loved for ourselves, or rather, loved in spite of ourselves. There is only one happiness in life, to love and be loved. To be without some of the things you want is an indispensable part of happiness. To enjoy good health, to bring true happiness to one's family, to bring peace to all, one must first discipline and control one's own mind. If a man can control his mind he can find the way to enlightenment, and all wisdom and virtue will naturally come to him. There is some kind of a sweet innocence in being human, in not having to be just happy or just sad, in the nature of being able to be both broken and whole, at the same time. Even a happy life cannot be without a measure of darkness, and the word happy would lose its meaning if it were not balanced by sadness. It is far better to take things as they come along with patience and equanimity. The secret of happiness is freedom, the secret of freedom is courage. If you want happiness for an hour, take a nap. If you want happiness for a day, go fishing. If you want happiness for a year, inherit a fortune. If you want happiness for a lifetime, help someone else. Nobody really cares if you are miserable, so you might as well be happy. The only way to find true happiness is to risk being completely cut open. It isn't what you have or who you are or where you are or what you are doing that makes you happy or unhappy. It is what you think about it. People are unhappy when they get something too easily. You have to sweat, that's the only moral they know. We can't control the world. We can only barely control our own reactions to it. Happiness is largely a choice, not a right or entitlement. Learn to enjoy every minute of your life. Be happy now. Don't wait for something outside of yourself to make you happy in future. We tend to forget that happiness doesn't come as a result of getting something we don't have, but rather of recognizing and appreciating what we do have. 
Give a man health and a course to steer, and he will never stop to trouble about whether he is happy or not. Love does not dominate, it cultivates. The only thing we never get enough of is love, and the only thing we never give enough of is love. It is a curious thought, but it is only when you see people looking ridiculous that you realize just how much you love them. True love comes quietly, without banners or flashing lights. If you hear bells, get your ears checked. To love and be loved is to feel the sun from both sides. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength, while loving someone deeply gives you courage. You always gain by giving love. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. You know you are in love when you can't fall asleep because reality is finally better than your dreams. It is better to be hated for what you are than to be loved for what you are not. The opposite of love is not hatred, it's indifference. The opposite of art is not ugliness, it's indifference. The opposite of faith is not heresy, it's indifference. And the opposite of life is not death, it's indifference. I love you without knowing how, or when, or from where. I love you simply, without problems or pride, I love you in this way because I do not know any other way of loving but this, in which there is no I or you. So intimate that your hand upon my chest is my hand, so intimate that when I fall asleep your eyes close. Have you ever been in love? Horrible, isn't it? It makes you so vulnerable. It opens your chest and it opens up your heart and it means that someone can get inside you and mess you up. Love all, trust a few, do wrong to none. Don't marry the one you love but love the one you marry. Sex is about the quality of your entire love life, not the intricate alignment of your bodies. Be kind, for everyone you meet is fighting a harder battle. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark, the real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. The price good men pay for indifference to public affairs is to be ruled by evil men. Never discourage anyone who continually makes progress, no matter how slow. Love is a serious mental disease.